Riley, are you ready? I'm ready, baby! Valley, Woo! my man, how are you? I am doing well, my friend. How are you doing? Dude, I'm doing great. Awesome. Um, we're hype today, everybody. We are hype. If you couldn't tell from the intro, we're here. And we're going to be talking about something just very great and exciting. And that is the five worst teams in Marvel Strike Force and Ooh. how they can be improved. Yes, we, we got to improve these teams, guys. Some of some of them need a uh, massive rework. Some of them need a slight rework, but they all uh, can be improved to make them at least usable in this game. They have to be. They in multiple be. game modes, not just as a blitz fodder team. Exactly. So let's uh, just start off with the classic expected team. Hydra. Oh, boy. Oh boy, Valley. It's a debate. What is worse, Hydra or AIM? And I guess because you got Crossbones and Winter Soldier there, Hydra might get the slight nod, but uh, we, we got word of uh, Gravitron, Graviton coming, and uh, he might make AIM a lot better, but he Hydra, might. they need some help. They need some help. Even, even A lot of help. There, There is arguably nothing good about this team other than of course when you're talking about the minions, the minions right so yeah, winter soldier yeah. he's all right crossbones is pretty good still not as good as he used to be but still pretty good but uh if these minions are i mean these minions could not even be in the game and i would they they could be taken out of the game and i wouldn't even notice you know what i mean but that's that's a whole extra fight on tier one that you can do on blitz though <laughs> it's cute that you think that i do that <laughs> All yeah. right, so yeah, what are, blitz. What are I blitz all the time. Changes? We're talking about the minions here. What are your proposed changes for these uh, minions to make them a little better? Because their kit seems so outdated, man. They, this is they just doesn't work. Bad. So like, I mean, if you look at it, it right? Didn't work so like, back they have the like no, it really didn't. They have like some elements, right? So like, this guy has like um, he can uh, clear positive effects from uh, people. I mean, so that's, that's well, a nice one ten percent damage there. Lovely. 120% also. Jeez. So that's ugly. Uh, this AoE is not horrible. If it just did more damage, it's just like Punisher. Yeah. Um, so that's fine. This does nothing. That does nothing. Uh, this guy, I don't know. Nothing really. I mean, he could heal block. That's not terrible. This heal is okay and gives death proof. It would be better if it just healed it's more. Out of every single ability you've listed, nothing really stands out and makes me go, wow. Yeah, well, there's exactly. Just, there's just like meh abilities on every single character and every single ability. Just like nothing special. Like all of their basics are like, uh, all of their basics are like attack and then do a certain amount of piercing damage. So um, this one's actually not bad. This is probably the only like decently impressive one is that um, the armored guard heals for, I think if you max it out, heals for 10% of his max health every time he takes a turn. Mm -hmm. But I want, he's so mm -hmm. slow, it doesn't matter. 92 speed. So, Hydra Sniper, he's I, I don't know, nah, he's not good. The, so the, the, the Sniper, I, I do see, see some people use him on an Ultron team for that offense up. Unfortunately, you do need that T4 to get it for all the allies, but I don't it, know if it's it is worth an offense it. up. It's, it's not the worst thing, but that's pretty much all it does. That's pretty much all it does. You could probably get offense up better from somewhere else. So, the proposed change Many for this team. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so the proposed change for this team that I'm sure that anybody can figure out is um, obviously the stats need a bit of a rework so that they can do a bit more damage, have a bit more health, uh, a bit more speed. But the easiest way to do that is to look at it and take them just like what had happened with the shield minions is that you add Red Skull, who is very similar to Nick Fury's uh, kit, at least as far as I recall, because he summons and stuff like that. It would be good if they just had somebody like that you put him in and then he like just his like has like a unique or a passive ability that's just like add 30 percent health to hydra minions add i don't know 25 percent offense or whatever whatever um you know what i mean like that that would be the way to do that if they didn't want to completely rework it i know people have wanted red skull for a long time he's been an npc since the game came out like yeah. since it was in beta yeah. Well, here's here's what I would like to see. Like uh, some some characters have this uh, revive mechanic. I know uh, we're going to talk about one of them in just a little bit. But you know, the theme for Hydra is you cut off one head, three appear. 
So that that kind of uh, mechanic, I think, would be interesting and kind of fitting thematically. Yeah, it would be out. like almost like if like each time a like Hydra non summon minion is defeated, like summon like three Hydra minions or yeah, something. Yeah, like, like like quarter health or something, and just as much damage. I think that would be interesting. That'd be really that interesting. Could help, that, that could help them. Yeah. yeah, I really like that. I like that idea. I think that could be pretty cool. I mean, I. I'd Add play with that them. to Red I mean, Star. Sounds Add fun. Red Skull's kit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we need yeah. that. So, but listen, I got. Speaking of Red Star, look, I got tons of good Red Stars on them. Ooh, four, five, you are four, ready for their rework. Three, three five. five. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. All right. So next team, let's switch on over to uh, the other arguably worst team. Our boys over in the Aim Squad. I think you got a strong argument if you want to call this the worst team in the game. <laughs> I don't even know. Do they do anything? They just debuff themselves and yeah, I mean, then I, die. I gotta tell you, I I, I like. I, I've said this from the beginning. I like what they were going for here. It's unique. You don't really see this, or at least I haven't seen this in a lot of different games. You know, debuffing themselves to try to get it better for yourself in the long term. But their speed is just so slow. I mean, Scientist Supreme does her move, and everybody's dead before she gets to flip everything. It's just. It didn't work out, I think, how they wanted it to, right? Yeah, it's just because, like, I don't know. I mean, it could be good. I remember I used to use Scientist Supreme back in the, the beta days when I first started playing. Like, she was actually one of my strongest characters because I thought that the concept was just so cool. That's that. I'm, I'm with you. The concept is very cool, right? right? Yeah. So, I mean, if you debuff yourself and then you have a way to flip that, it's like, okay, yeah, let's put, like, 17 debuffs on ourselves and then flip them and have a million side effects or positive side effects, and it's like... Okay, but the main person who gives the debuffs is Scientist Supreme, and a lot of times she doesn't even get a second turn because she's so slow. Yeah. Or, or if she you, gets or, ability blocked. Or she puts or defense stunned. up on defense down on everybody and you lose key members of the team, or or she gets ability blocked and she can't flip anything. It's just it's just yeah. In yep. practice. I used to um I used to really like uh this guy. Uh what's his name? Uh, the aim infector. Um I don't know why. I just liked his. Uh, I really liked his basic because you could apply offense down, defense up, or slow on his basic. Hmm. But uh, it doesn't really happen that often, so it's not very yeah. good. But I used to use him in blitz teams a lot. I thought he they was need, a lot. They of fun. need a little more love. Now, what what would you suggest to improve this team? Because I think they need a whole rework of everything. I mean, they need more speed. Like they need again. They need like stats like redone, like speed, offense, all that. Um, and it's like if Scientist Supreme, like if she, I don't know, what if it's like Scientist Supreme cannot be ability blocked or something. I don't know. That'd probably be too OP. But it's like if she would be able to like put the negative side effects and then flip them or maybe they just set up the speed so that all the other aim characters can go first because they debuff themselves too. Okay. So if you have like all the aim character, like the minions, they go and then Scientist Supreme's speed, the way it's set up, is that she goes immediately after the next yeah. one, and then she can just automatically flip those. I don't know. I mean, or reduce the cooldowns on the flip, because the cooldowns on, go, go open her right now, because the, the cooldown's dead. That retro vaccination, that has a, yeah, that's the one that she she flips it. Yeah, the cooldown is way too high. You need that, like, a two-turn cooldown, a three-turn cooldown for this team yeah, to work. Yeah, it's at five properly. turns, so you would only use yeah. that once. But yeah. you can use Once the debuffing one three no times. Or yeah, and you after debuff, three debuff turns. everybody. It's just, it doesn't work. I, I like the concept, though. I do I like, like her reviving, concept, but, but yeah. her basic is decent. Like, I like how it just applies random negative side effects. That's pretty cool. No, um, the, there is a character Missed coming. the there mark with character. this one. We got, we got an announcement uh, yesterday about a character coming to this. Yeah, Grava, Graviton. Graviton. Not Gravitron. Not Galvatron, but Galvatron. Graviton. <laughs> Is coming to the game and hopefully I know very little about better. him. Yeah, I know very little about him, like in the the universe. But if he makes aim better, then I'm all for him. You know. Yeah. So we'll see what I happens with that. But on to the next team, Valley. On to the next team. We got uh, got our boys in the uh, the hand, the hand army. Oh, it's our friend's favorite character, Nobu, and the rest of the hand. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yep. Good old Nobu. So I was thinking about this team. This team's a bit different, right? Because Hand Sentry is actually very good. Used to be meta. Um, yeah, yeah. 
but so was, he's so more... was Nobu at one point. So was Nobu. Yeah, he was. It, it's hard to believe now, but yeah. Now, but, and so yeah. I mean, so was Electra too back in the day. We argued about this before, but yeah, back nobody, in the day, nobody remembers that point when Electra was in <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, when the game first came out, everybody had Electra. Okay, <laughs> she was good. She would one shot everybody. All right, so but, uh, uh, I guess the ideal team: take out Assassin, take out Blade Master. It's not a bad team. It works, but it's, it works. it's nowhere near competing where it needs to be right now. It's not. So it's like, because you can't really stand up to anything, right? So like Hand Archer, his dispel, oddly enough, Strong it's move. one of the only characters, and I don't know why, but he can dispel like Thanos taunt. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say it there, but he's got a crazy amount of focus with this, with that move. And it Do can we know why? Thanos is taunt, Colossus is taunt, Juggernaut is taunt. Um, it doesn't even like he has. No, focus. it's, it's oh, yeah. not in there. It's, it's some it's some weird thing in the code. It's it's always been there, and it needs to be there because he would really suck if he couldn't. Yeah, he would be useless focus. if he couldn't. So, I mean, the the team is not terrible, um, but I kind of I had a similar thought to with the way that uh hand could work to what you were saying about hydra mm -hmm. like i was thinking that like because i mean hand is all about like coming back from the dead like that's literally their entire thing so it'd be interesting if like nobu's like ability was like it would like what if like you upgrade nobu's uh passive ability to like every time the first time a hand character dies they automatically revive with full health i'd like that i would like that he he definitely needs some help because his ultimate is so bad yeah and, and that needs to be changed Jeez. like Jeez. that's bad <laughs> that's so horrible that's the worst ultimate in game i think <laughs> it really character it really is character. um and so like if he had something like that like that would just automatically make them a bit better because they could get wiped out and it's like okay well they're just gonna yeah. come back and so like they're not obviously gonna revive every time but like i don't know like something like keep his passive the way it is but then the first time they always revive and then after that they that have would be like very strong especially you got hand sorcerer and they're healing people and putting defense up on them that would be a very very strong passive well yeah but not unless if they don't rework the stats it wouldn't be but because they would still suck because you can revive as many times as you want if you hit for like a wet noodle you know what i mean yeah so i don't know it could be better i mean that's just my initial thoughts that definitely needs some love. It definitely needs some love. I don't For want sure. it to be in the top five teams, but it definitely should be usable because they were. They were. They were the strong. One of the stronger factions in the game, but way back in the day. Yeah, they were really good for Blitz way back in the day. Yeah. One of the best teams you could use. They were like one of the original, like sure to win teams. Oddly yeah. enough, I don't know. If you guys remember that, leave a comment below if you remember when Hand was good. So, let's see. Next team. Uh, this one. Is uh, controversial because I like I actually like this team. Well, a lot of people have been calling for like okay, well, well, Avengers, maybe not the wave, not wave one of Avengers, one of Avengers. But Avengers. Right, 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 right. Doesn't help. I know you're getting ahead of yourself, um, <laughs> right, ahead of me. So, all right, so uh, this team, wave one Avengers. So you're looking at this, you're like, oh, well, these characters are pretty good, but they're not good as a team, right? Because there's nobody, because let's, let's ignore Iron Man, right? Ignore Iron Man because he goes with power armor 100% of the time. So imagine, you know, okay, so you got, I can even imagine how you'd set it up. It'd be like Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Hulk, Captain America, you know? And uh, that, I don't know, it's like I, I look at this team and I'm just like, okay, these characters are pretty decent. They used to be a lot better. Um, Captain America is still really good. Uh, Hulk has recently gotten a rework. He's pretty good now. Uh, Black Widow's good. Um, Hawkeye is really okay. Um, but Thor obviously sucks. Um, uh, it's, it's his speed and his cooldown on his ultimate. If if he had more speed in his ultimate, uh, yeah, yeah, that is that is what really hurts him. <laughs> so bad. Is Hulk faster than him? Wow, Hulk is faster than Thor. That's amazing. I did not know that. So he will smash puny god. Yeah, right. I feel like um, cause his basic, honestly, his basic does pretty decent damage. Nah, you look at his damage; it's pretty good. It is his damage is good. 
So it's, it's, I don't know if there's all like all good damage. Yeah, exactly. So this I think needs to chain more consistently. Um, I yeah, it needs to be like a guaranteed chain of at least four, four chain four. Five, five to uh, whatever. They, they need to make it more. Cause yeah, it needs have, to be have more. you ever seen it chain nine times? Uh, no, never. I don't think I've ever seen it chain nine times either. <laughs> Maybe three or something like that. Yeah. But if it's I mean, lucky, whenever the AI is using it, it, it'll chain them to all five. But <laughs> um, what do you think? Like, what if this like had a higher like stun chance? I, I actually like this move. This is a strong move. The problem is it comes so late that the battle's pretty much over by the time he's doing this move. Yeah, that's, the battle's that's, always that's, over. That's, that's the problem. It's like I'm not, like this shouldn't be like opening turn, but like maybe like turn two, not, turn three. Well, I guess it is he's turn Thor. three right now. So he's like, Thor. He's the god of thunder. That can't be opening turn, right? He needs to be better. Um, I don't even know right? what unique is. This is bad. Bump his, bump his speed up to ninety. He's still a slow character, but he's a little faster. Make make his ultimate turn one available. He's much. Better. Do you think ninety though? I feel like he's not a slow character. Like he, I mean, lore wise, he. I mean, he can fly around and stuff like that. But I guess whatever. You don't want him I to be. I, I'm just trying not to make him super overpowered. But yeah, but ninety is the god of thunder. Valley. Ninety still. All right, give him a hundred. Put him right at average speed. Average speed. Hundred. All right. Now you're happy. His passive sucks. This should just say if it's gonna, it could stay this. Well, but then also add, like, it sucks it now it's because there's only two Asgardians in the whole game. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's rumors of more Asgardians coming to the game and him getting a full rework. So there is. He might not be on this Avenger team either. So wait, then who would go leaving, here? Leaving. Captain Marvel. Captain Wait, you, wait, but there'd only be four. Oh, well, she wouldn't be a wave one Avenger, but she she works very right, well on the right. team. Right, right, okay, that makes sense. All right, so, I mean, a little here, a little there. I mean, they just need, like, a little bit of touches. Maybe Thor can make them better. Maybe just, I don't know. Yeah, now, if, if you're not, this team works very well against non-meta teams. If you just get some random five characters, this team could take them out. Oh, yeah, But But sure. if you get a team Even with, with synergy and stuff, yeah, they, they, they struggle. They struggle. Because they don't have any synergy, so I mean, other than I think Captain America like gets well. Extra Captain America and Black Widow well, work very well together with that speed. They get the uh, the energy distribution. Hulk making it uh, hard with his taunt, and he's got that extra damage. It's 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 kind of scary nowadays fighting the Hulk, you know. You know oh yeah, Nova. Hulk is crazy. That Nova. works out great for you, man. Yeah, he's still very All tiny right. though. Why so is, uh, is Hawkeye's models better, bigger than the Hulk. What, what is up with that? <laughs> I don't look know. Why is Hawkeye, Hawkeye? Even look like this? And we shrink it down to the Hulk. What the heck? So small. <laughs> Fox next. We need answers. He's not angry in that in the character model. We need to just increase the size to by about double. This immediately. Double. <laughs> All right. Exactly. But yeah, they, like they uh, like the size bit. of yeah, the thing. That's a little bit. It should be. A little bit. Also, can we just talk? Why is he wearing these purple glasses? This is the dumbest looking version of Hawkeye I've ever he seen. He wears his sunglasses at night. He's the coolest. That's what he does. Coolest. All right. So next team. Uh, this one's going to be controversial. This is one that a Valley referenced this earlier. Yeah. This is going to be the OG Spider Verse. So Spider Man, Miles, Carnage, Venom, Green Goblin. I don't really count. Because I think he goes way better with Sinister Six than with the OG Spider Verse, but who would you put in that this fifth? Is, who would I put in the fifth? I don't know. That's the problem too. I think is that I have no idea who to put in the fifth. Kingpin, at all. Doctor Strange, maybe. I've I've been putting in Mordo at times, but yeah, Doctor Strange, Mordo, somebody like that. One of those characters that's like good on their own and just kind of can fit wherever. Scarlet Witch, extending like on those debuffs. Scarlet Witch, I think. Adam. So here's what I think. Here's what I think is good would right. help this team. Is they need a tank that auto taunts at the beginning of fights. It can be dispellable, it can be whatever, but just so that that way the first couple of hits get taken by the tank. Now, wait, are you, are you talking like a pre taunt like Drax or auto taunt like uh, uh, shield security? I'm sorry. Pre taunt like Drax. So pre taunt I think that they need that because, right, so Spider-Man. My Spider-Man is a four red star, seven gold star, tier 12. Dude has 83,000 health. Beefy. He's strong. Not at all. 
He's not. It was he, he is. He does a lot of damage, but like he doesn't have a lot of health. And so I have Dodge his passive it. upgraded. So yeah, but it doesn't, dude. It does not work for me. He never does. He's the first one that dies on this team every time that I play them. Okay. He just never seems to dodge for me. And so maybe I need to do the uh, the T4s on this ability because he'll gain evade more. Um, but man, I tell you what, it seems like he always dies. And then because, I mean, he's pretty big You've damage dealer, the team well kind of goes well. downhill. Yeah, so I, I don't know. Like, I like Spider-Verse. I think they're a lot of fun. That's why mine's pretty strong. But I don't know. They just, they, I have noticed, and maybe this is just the way they're supposed to be. Spider-Verse cannot punch up at all. Now, if they're facing a team that's like similar power to them, they're pretty good to go. I mean, they're not going to beat Brotherhood. They're not going to beat X-Men. But like, they can beat most other teams at the same power level. But if you put anybody who's even like 10, maybe 20,000 power ahead of them, they can't do anything. Hmm. It's kind of rough. Yeah, I, I've had trouble punching up with them too. The the other thing that annoys me about them, their their turns don't really line up to get the most bang for their buck about uh, what what their kit represents. Like Carnage, his kit looks awesome on paper, but you don't always get to use it how uh, you would think you could, just because maybe a taunt or you're focusing on a different character or something. It's just it just doesn't work out. I exactly. It, so. so. I don't know. I mean, I love Carnage. Uh, he's my favorite uh, MCU villain. Um, everybody knows that by now, I'm sure. Um, that's why I have him at tier 13. And it's just like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's a mess. I think that they could just be better. I mean, it's Spider-Man, Venom, Carnage. I mean, Miles so you, is obviously other, not as famous as the rest of those, but like those three characters are so famous throughout Marvel. And it's like, man, like they just suck. I don't know. The they're okay. They're, really they're very okay. Is that uh, dispel? You get a little bit of it from Goblin. You get a little bit of it from Venom. But you're usually not going to use Venom's basic because his ultimate, exactly. and ultimate special is so strong. So you need someone to dispel too. So if, uh, in addition to that auto taunting tank that you suggest, you need a more consistent dispel. Maybe like a uh, hand archer type, but with the uh, with the. Uh, thematically fitting this team so some introducing another character that could do that yeah so i mean there's obviously a gazillion options for that i mean you know i mean the ones that i think of immediately are like uh, doc ock or like spider gwen or i mean those are the first two i just think of i'm just like okay like either of those girls, could I like love spider gwen in this game oh yeah it'd be awesome i don't know why she's not people would buy that but that's okay i'm not fox neck so we we don't make their decisions valley but uh so these are the top five teams that I think, Valley thinks, we think. Uh, we didn't really agree on Spider-Verse, but we'll just say we think. Need improved. Um, Hydra, AIM, Hand, Wave 1 Avengers, and OG Spider-Verse. Um, let us know down in the comments if you think that there's another team that you would have put in one of these slots and uh, what you think could improve any of these teams. Uh, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We're almost to 3,000 subs. It's very exciting. Um, I always thought I would get like 50 subs and that would be it. And uh, we're actually growing. So it's well pretty cool. For yourself. Nice. Well, I'm, I'm doing all right. So I like it. Uh, make sure um, you check out Valley Flying's channel. Uh, he's awesome. If somehow you're watching my video and you don't know him yet, um, he makes awesome content. Very entertaining, very fun, uh, awesome guy. So anything else for today, uh, Valley? Speaking of which, we're about to make another video for my channel. So make sure you check out the video that uh, we are about to record right after we're done recording this for my channel. Different video. It is going to be about the uh, overrated characters. So different take. Yep. A little different take. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Make sure you guys check it out. And uh, yeah, okay. Woo! Have a good, uh, have a good day, guys. Bye.